Uh, let's t- we bring the boys out in three, two, one. <laughs> Buenos nachos, amigos, and welcome to day two, part two of Hallyu Juku's 2014 year end special. Uh, part two is, of course, like we said before, the boy bands, the boys, the fellas, the guys, the dudes, the bros. This is a bro time, though really it's for the opposite gender because those are going to be the ones that care about this, but, uh, we're going to talk about the boys. Uh, some of the, the male, uh, centric idol groups that, uh, or, you know, single groups that caught our attention this year. Uh, and of course we start off with our debuts. We're going to talk about some of the youngins. Uh, let's talk about some, so a couple of debuts. Not, not a, well, there was a lot of groups, but only a few caught our attention and only a few, uh, I think made a splash that, you know, let us know that they existed. <laughs> uh, but that's just because we are. Uh, we'll start with one that, uh, wasn't mm-hmm. high on our, on our list, but w- definitely had, uh, you know, a s- footprint on this year, which was High Four. Um, a group that collaborated with IU, collaborated with Lim Kim, and then kind of had their own debut, which, uh, I actually checked out today. <laughs> um, you know, figuring, uh, I should go ahead and uh, check them out since they probably probably worth talking about. Uh, High Four had you know their own song and they kind of had their thing. I don't think they necessarily caught my attention except for their collaboration with IU, which uh, I definitely did dig. But I, that could be just because I like IU. Yeah, I mean it, it was it was kind of the best of the bunch of the stuff that they put out. But it's probably yeah because it's fucking IU and IU dominates the world so of, yes. of Korean pop music yeah and in in general too yeah and she has cute feet just throwing it out there uh but yeah it was was, sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry uh but yeah it it was it was a cool song and they had a couple of other cool songs but you know uh nothing that really kind of made me remember them but i know the name because this collaboration um they definitely had a footprint this year so they they are definitely worth mentioning but moving on to other groups that we want to talk about because we're we're gonna go through this pretty quickly uh just because uh we're not gonna go two hours like we did with girl groups (laughs) um we're gonna talk about another group that uh definitely Uh, was Got seven, definitely an, one that we were actually kind of anticipating at least a little bit before we get came into this year. Uh, we had word of, yeah. you know, heard word of, uh, they, they, they were, some people were going to say that they were going to be the next 2 p.m. even. Yeah. Like there, there was a lot of rumor about Got Seven, but in a really positive way. So Got Seven, like, kind of caught this train of hype, um, uh, from, kind of everybody or whatever uh and it, it was mainly because of the personality of their members they have they have a, a few good personalities over there um they've been doing really good in the variety circuit uh yeah. kind of showing off and, and being around and their songs were kind of hit or miss with us i'm not super super sure if i remember how you felt about them but i i they were i dug them good, i generally but, dug them but you weren't yeah. as sold on them. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. and there was, a, I there still, was a lot I of still hype. Like, yeah. I still like Cut 7. Like, there was a lot of hype. I feel like, I feel like they didn't, like, in that weird way of saying it, they did not deliver, but they didn't deliver. You know, at the same time, least... they kind of hit a middle point. Um, um, with what yeah, so it was interesting because you know, of course, a big part of the hype was obviously next two PM because they are part of Juwapi, uh, and they're they're pretty uh, a pretty interesting group. They debuted with Girls, 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 and was a track that I definitely enjoyed mm-hmm. and, and impressed me. Uh, and then followed that up with uh, with a track like A, uh, 
which I think mm-hmm. won me over a bit more than I think it did you. But I and I, I it, it was pretty cool jam for me. I actually, it's one of my, I think one of my favorite boy group songs from this year. If I would say. Uh, was a, cause it was just kind of had a catchy hook. It was, uh, the dance was cool. The video was really well done. And, and I, I like their fun, playful confidence. Like, I like the, I like the playful confidence factor of them. Like, uh, there's a lot of boy group, there's a lot of boy groups out there. And there's a lot of very serious boy groups out there. Uh, <laughs> and, they were able to not be serious without losing their like cool factor, which was, I, I think what mm-hmm. really impressed me. Like they were cool. They were confident, but they weren't like, like brooding or, you know, or, or confrontational or super serious or, you know, or moody or whatever. They were just like fun, playful, confident and, and energetic. And I like that about them. Yeah, yeah I, will, I will agree. Like, I, I like a lot. I like the energy of GOT7. Yeah. They uh, kind of have part of my vote. Yeah. I would say they would be, they would definitely be my vote for, like, uh, my favorite debut of, like, the a major couple of debuts that we're going to talk about. Um, because I think that their songs just kind of, I dug them more and I, I'm, they're more memorable to me than the other couple other ones. Um, yeah, they're just a really fun group. Um, but moving on to another, uh, you know, infamous group, I think, uh, definitely <laughs> was a, a notable debut and I think was, uh, you know, really, really standout debut, uh, track. It, it's a shame that kind of, I, I would, we would want to vote them as a, I think, it was good enough to be the best debut this year. If if it didn't, you know, if they didn't debut and disband within the same day, and really got a chance to make a footprint for themselves. But uh, I'm talking about Big Byung, uh, the boys of Big Byung, <laughs> uh, the fellows, uh, you know, headed up by you know with the creative force of of Brave Sidekick Tiger. Uh, we have Big Byung. We have four <laughs> guys with style. Swagger, confidence, and an important message. You know, you got Yuk Duck, Wang Kong, we got, uh, we got, uh, Hyokti and Dolbagi. Uh, unique individuals, unique group, and I think one of the best groups to come out in a very long time. Uh, would you say so, Kaz? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was, it was fun. It, it was fun. It was silly. Like it, it was a good like laugh in the in the middle of the year kind of thing. Like uh, especially coming from the guys over at Weekly Idol. Like it was just kind of fun and silly to see and have happen. Um, yeah. And I don't know. Like I I couldn't not laugh and and just think about it. Like, but. That also goes to show you how the year of, of boy groups went. <laughs> we were like, "Oh, we need something else to fill this out." <laughs> uh, I just, I, I actually genuinely really kind of dug this uh, this fun song. It was, it was, it was a fun song, and I really need to get around to checking out this show because it just seems like because I love Weekly Idol as a show. Anytime I get to kind of check out that show, even yeah. Uh, it is just a fun show. Drama Fever needs interview. to get their hands up on that. Yeah, I'm um, maybe with like, like NBC today doing their, you know, you know, we need to see more of that because I know uh, it doesn't always get like subbed all the time. It's it's been consistently getting subbed, <laughs> but it's like uh, I want to see it, you know, a little bit more frequently, and I want to check out other groups and like random, pl- random dance, you know, uh, random dance, yeah, random play. Is one of my favorite segments. Like just the i like the 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 mm-hmm. idea of making people s- s- dance random parts of their discography to win a prize. Because it takes the idea. Because like every yeah, group I, I, is used my, to their thing. Yeah, like, every my group favorite is used part of that, and and any part of that is whenever they uh, whenever they have a group on. And the group starts doing good, <laughs> and they're like, 
Oh shit! <laughs> the, the, like, I, I forget his name, but the one guy goes over to like wherever the thing is and starts playing, and is like, and starts like trying to like, like just keep like switching the song faster and faster. And you're like, oh wait, oh, wait, okay, wait, no, wait, you go over there, go over there, go over there, okay. <laughs> and it always turns into like the where where do I usually stand? Where do I usually stand? It's like, uh, but when they do when they don't do well. It is all even more hilarious. <laughs> it's like it's always the one person who messes up all the time. Ah, it's so yeah. Great. Uh, but I think we'll, we'll we'll leave the weekly idol talk to another to I think our full recap of this year. But uh, but yeah, it's so much fun. Uh, but moving on, I think uh so, the big debut of this year has to be one that we were. I know you were anticipating. We're both we were both kind of I'm- on our radar. I anticipated, but I didn't think it was going to be this big. Like I didn't. I mean, I I, I knew it was YG. Yeah. I knew they had a lot of hype coming in, but I was like, they're kind of gonna fall flat in some places, and fuck if I was wrong. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Like. They they kind of came out and was like, yeah, no, uh, we're YG and we're YG for a reason and we're gonna dominate. And I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know so, you still had that power. <laughs> so give them, a, I think, I guess, give people a recap of how Winner came to be. Because so, Winner know was, yeah, Winner was all part of this whole YG TV thing of like Who them is wanting next? to do. Yeah, who is next? It, and it kind of came off the heels of YG having been on um, K-Pop Star mm-hmm. for a while. And I mean YG as in the CEO or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, and it came on the heels of that. And he kind of brought in a bunch of bunch of young guys and showed you the YG training process of, of selecting at a... I think it was maybe 15 guys... Uh, who was going to be in his next group or whatever. Um, and uh, it was called Who Is Next. And uh, at some point, they got split into two teams or whatever. You got Team A and Team B, which were kind of your finalists or whatever. Like, either one of these groups could have premiered. Um, and it ended up being Team A, uh, and they premiered as winner, which I thought was a really stupid name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I also thought that was going to be part of their downfall. And I didn't like all of the guys in Winter, like in the parts of that I checked out of Who Is Next, you know, um, as I've talked about before, there are some other guys that I like better. Uh, but they were a really good unit together and they showed that and they're really powerful and they they hit all those fucking points that you got to hit really, really well. Um yeah. And they had a gutsy debut with kind of going more R&B ballad style with the, the, the two main music videos that they debuted, uh, with Empty and Color Ring. Uh, it yeah. was, it was definitely impactful and it, and it, it, they made an impact. They were winning music shows as soon as they debuted. Like the first time they showed up at a music show, they won it. <laughs> like, uh, it was like, well, yep. Smart trophy, you know, just show up, snatch a trophy, and leave. It's like this is how it is. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then you know, one of the best selling rookie artists uh, of the year. They were uh, for for good reason. They were voted, uh, and I mentioned this uh, this like uh, survey yesterday uh, of the 144 idols that were surveyed on kind of their best of uh, for 2014. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, the winner for best new artist was Winner, and for a good reason. Like they're, they're recognized as the best new artists of the year overall. Of course, number two are our girls, Mama Moo. <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. But yeah, and and number three being Act On Musician, where which shows kind of where you know how YG appeals to people in music and people, you know, how much of a focus they have on music that. Other people that are in music, around music, and making music ha- get affected and get uh, and f- get into their sound specifically. 
not just from winter, but act on musician. I imagine if you kind of extended that poll, there would be other YG artists as well. Like they, they, I mean, even, even, I mean, I, I don't want to make it seem like they wouldn't have had a good year either way, but even freaking, uh, the Epic High had a really great year in this transition of being a YG artist, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And in a transformative year, transformative year music, musically, uh, kind of going back to a very cool, uh, style that they may have strayed away from <laughs> in the recent past, which is cool. But yeah, really growing yeah. musically and making, putting out a record that so, I'm actually yeah. considering putting on, on record breakers. But yeah, the, I I would safely oh, yeah. say, uh, yeah, like we said, our uh, God Seven I think probably was was my eh, favorite as far as like songs specifically. Mm-hmm. But I think it's safe to say just on impact, success, and the fact that they had quality tunes to back it up, winner would be our our winner. Yeah, I mean, it, it it really comes across like like if it wasn't for winner, <laughs> like Got Seven would have taken this year between them and High Four, you know, because variety shows and and everything else that they did really really stuck out. But Winner just kind of came through and just really dominated the year musically, you know, and you know, I mean, I mean, YG isn't their their thing isn't always really big on on the variety shows, but I'm pretty sure at some point we're gonna start to see these winter guys on variety shows and doing all mm-hmm. kind of other things, and and they'll dominate that even more. Yeah, so we'll we'll, we'll look forward to that. So winner, best debut, uh, boy group of 2014. Mm-hmm. 